Whether for the commercial use on a utility truck or the occasional use of a four-wheeler, the Premier Power Welder will turn your vehicle into a portable workshop. Packer Million from Pull Pal and Premier Power Welder will show us just how easy it is to install. Rick, the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery so we have no problems at all. Now we're ready to replace the old alternator with our 160 amp Premier Power Welder alternator. Once the alternator is installed, it's time to mount up the control box. The control box is actually designed to mount directly on the fender like this. But in this application, like my own Jeep, we've welded together a small bracket that bolts to the side of the fender well and holds the control box at a slight angle. This gives the control box a little more custom look, don't you think, Pat? Absolutely. Now that the control box is installed, what's next, Pat? We simply install the wiring harness and every one of them is plainly marked as to where they go. Looks simple enough. Good charge here. You charging good? Yeah, it's got a good charge. Okay, we shut it off. All right. With the alternator, control box, and wiring harness all installed, the system checked out perfectly. The final step is to install the throttle control cable. You just shorten it to the link that you need, mount the bracket, and you're ready to go. The DC welder comfortably welds 1 8 inch rod at 100% duty cycle or fully charges a battery in just under 5 minutes. In the power tool mode, the Premier Power Welder provides plenty of power to run grinders, drills, and even a blender. Call 800-541-1817 for a free brochure or visit the website at www.premierpowerwelder.com.